Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about liming wax. Now we know with restoring furniture, there's clear wax, which a lot of people use as a top coat over their painted furniture. There's dark wax that people use to accentuate their pieces to give them like an aged look or more dimension. I'm talking about liming wax. Now I've used it a few times. I'm no expert, but I know a couple tips to help you apply this because I've learned. Um, this is what it looks like. Comes in a green tub like this. I ordered mine off Amazon. I believe all your home improvement stores carry them as well. It looks like this. It's got an awesome smell. Like if you like the smell of like Sharpies, which I do. I'm not saying I'm a sniffer, but I like the smell of sh Sharpies. This stuff has a potent smell to it, but I like it. It's kind of like a menthol-y, vixy type smell. So it looks like this. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Noxzema. You remember that face cleanser we used to use in the 80s and 90s, which I think clogged our pores more than it cleaned our skin? Um, it reminds me of Noxzema. It's very buttery. It's very smooth when it goes on. So what type of projects would you put liming wax on and what look are you trying to achieve? With liming wax, you really wanna use it on projects that have a lot of wood grain. So like oak, maple would be good. Um, pine, probably not so much because pine, you just kind of have like the big knots. You don't really have a consistent grain through that wood. So behind me, if I tip my camera here, I have this really cute antique cabinet wash sand. I have sanded this thing. It took me like three hours to completely sand this project. Anyone that tells you that restoring furniture is easy, it is not. It's very time consuming, especially with sanding. It takes a lot of time to get around all the like nooks and crannies. Not only are you using like a hand sander, you're in there with just like sandpaper trying to get the finish off. So. I got this one completely clean. It was a really ugly orange finish on it. And I'm gonna be applying the lime wax. The look that I'm going for, um, with liming wax you're going for kind of like a whitewashed, kind of like the wood's been bleached naturally, but we're doing it artificially. So I'm gonna show you um, a project that I just completed. There's a dresser back there. It's this wider one right here. I'm going to show you the close-up of the top. I applied this liming wax, and then I applied a gray stain, and it looks so cool. So hold on, I'm gonna show you that. Okay, here's the top of that dresser that I was talking about. Can you see all that white in the wood grain? That is the liming wax that I put in there. Isn't that so cool? It just makes that grain pop and it gives you this like beachy driftwood look to it. And so afterwards, um, I applied gray stain and then I did a top coat on top of that. But that's kind of what the type of look that you can get with liming wax. Okay, I'm here with my cute antique cabinet that I'm going to apply the liming wax to. I thought I would just start with one drawer first to show you guys how I apply it. So here's my drawer. You will need to wear gloves for sure. There are two ways you can apply this. Um, I kind of alternate because my hand gets tired. Um, it is a little time consuming. I will use either a wax brush like this. This is I think an inch and a half in diameter, maybe two inches and or I apply it with a clean cloth, okay? So we're just gonna open up the lid here. I say that easier said than done. Where's my little doohickey? Why am I always losing my tools in here? Because I am. Okay, I'm just gonna use my screwdriver. There we be. Okay, so it looks like this. Very pasty. Um, I'm going to set my drawer up here so you guys can see me apply it. So like I said, you want a piece of wood that has a lot of na um, natural wood grain going across the whole piece of it. That's where liming wax works the most effective and you're gonna get that wood grain to really take it all in. So I'm just gonna take my cloth, I'm gonna dip it right in. I got it right there. 
and I'm just going to work it in. It's very thick, kind of smelly. Again, I like the smell. And I can already see this getting right into the wood grain. That's exactly what I want this liming wax to do. Can you see the difference already? See how it just sits right in the wood grain? That's exactly what we want it to do. And I'm gonna keep doing that. Now some people just apply the liming wax and then that's it. They don't stain it afterwards. They don't do anything. It all depends the look you're going for. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put a stain on top of this or not. It all depends how it looks all limed up, I guess, if you wanna call it that, limed up. So I'm just gonna keep working it in here. Now, if you get too much lime wax on your piece, it's looking, um, I'll use this word, like on the top of the dresser that I applied the lime wax to, it got too cloudy looking. It was just, it was very just gross. I, did, I just didn't like the look of it. So I then went and took my clear wax, by Annie Sloan and you can take some of the clear wax put it on the lime wax and kind of remove it um, again this is very it's up to you what kind of look you want you can get very a light white look with the liming wax or you can go kind of darker and more solid it all depends what look you want I just like the rustic look that it gives it um, I live here near the coast in New Hampshire, and a lot of people love their neutrals, love their whites and their grays, and this look here, um, they really like. It's kind of like a driftwoody, beachy look. And I always like to, with a lot of the antique pieces that I get, if there's some really natural, beautiful wood, I, I don't like painting over um, natural, beautiful wood. I like to accentuate it. That's when I'll sand pieces and I'll do an effect like this. That way we can preserve that natural wood grain, highlight it, beautify it instead of covering it up. So here we go. This is starting to look so much better already. You can see that the wood grain is starting to really pop and we're getting that, it's kind of like a whitewash look to it. And again, I'll, I'll figure out as I go here if I'm going to end up staining over the top of this or not. I don't know yet. We'll see how it all comes together. So far, I'm really liking this. It's really pretty. So, so pretty. So there's one drawer. Bring it up closer here. Can you see that? It gives it a really cool driftwood aged beachy wood look to it. So I'm gonna to continue to do this throughout this entire cabinet. I'm gonna see how it looks. Maybe it'll be too white. Maybe I need to like just stain the drawers just to give it some dimension. I'm not sure yet. But this is how you apply lime wax. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'm always happy to answer as fast as I can your suggestions. What are you doing? I got Biscuit in here again. What are you doing? I don't think he likes my gloves. He doesn't like the sound of, um, it's my little chihuahua. He doesn't like the sound of plastic bags, anything. Yeah, like this. Ugh. Is it bugging you? <laughs> if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for following me. If you haven't, the subscribe button is in the lower right-hand corner. It's a red button. You can click on that. I try to upload videos probably on a weekly basis. Um, I'm always looking for ideas. If there's anything you guys want me to cover in the furniture restoration business world, I'm your gal.
guys, I am done with the antique cabinet. I applied the liming wax. It looks really good. It's behind me. I'm gonna give you a full shot of it. But I wanted to just let you know, after I applied the liming wax, I did that with that other dresser behind me, that wider dresser. I did take an orbital sander with 180 grit sandpaper. So what happens sometimes when you apply lime wax, like I said, it can get too cloudy, too white, depending on your preference. This one was, it was just too cloudy for me. So I hit the piece again with 180 grit sandpaper. So what that did is it took some of the liming wax away so I could see more of it in the wood grain. And then I did another layer of application of adding this stain. It is by Minwax. It is called Simply White. And I applied this over it and it looks really, really good. It just has, this added just a softness to it because this was an oak cabinet. It was kind of orangey, had that, ugh, it's just like a yucky orange finish to it. And I found that it still had some like orange tones to it. So what that stain did for me was soften it up even more. So what I did is I did the liming wax, I sanded it, a little bit of it off, and then I applied the stain and wiped that off. And then I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like, okay? Okay, here is what the cabinet looks like finished with the liming wax applied to it and the white stain. I apologize, but my daylight is depleting here. <laughs> it's only like a quarter after four and the sun goes down quite early. But you can see here, I really like the look of it. It's got that whitewashed, bleached look to the wood. And in daylight, I think it looks, hi Biscuit, I think it looks much, much better. But here, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And then at the end of this video here, I'm gonna post some photos that I took earlier today so you can really see what that wood grain looks like in natural light. So there you guys go. This is how you use liming wax on furniture. I hope you learned a lot and we will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for watching.